Hi everyone, uh, Professor Muhammad Shaw with you. Um, our main subject today uh, uh, is about uh, concentrated solar gas turbine cycle for um, desalination and uh, power generation. Uh, first of all, after you download your model, open your MATLAB and uh, try to don't open it from desktop just open MATLAB and go to your destination folder from here so this is my working folder so it's up to working folder so I have to this is my working folder and, and this is my main module so I and then select here and uh, sort by name and group by type so you will find your uh, your model in its proper place and uh, you will find everything here in this uh, left side menu. Okay. Uh, first of all, you will find some uh, uh, working uh, uh, flow properties for gas and water and uh, freons that uh, 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 that been used in uh, in this model. Okay. We have two versions. This is dynamic version. In case you would like to run it in uh, dynamic mode and uh, uh, trying to uh, change your parameter within uh, a specific range of time or related to any other uh, parameters let's begin from the basic one okay let's drag and drop here okay this is our main model this is our main cycle um, cycle is this one is a little bit complicated it's a little bit huge uh, the system is uh, uh, novel uh, we have here uh, this is regenerative cycle we have uh, many uh, videos you have to refer to our previous videos about regenerative gas turbine cycle so this is the regeneration uh, uh, cycle and we have here a concentrated solar tower for uh, uh, power generation um, that should be uh, utilized in order to power on uh, high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine. We have here for regeneration we have uh, uh, a low pressure compressor and we have high pressure compressor and high pressure turbine which is responsible for uh, or being, co being considered as uh, the brain mover for uh, the compressor, uh, compressor section and we have here for intercooler in order to increase the efficiency cycle efficiency and this intercooler is attached to a steam generation generation or steam generator unit and this unit is responsible for uh, steam generation um, that should be uh, considered a prime mover for the first effect of med and we have here med uh, it's up to your design. You, you can you can change uh, the number of of effect. Again, this is a design model, so we can control some uh, uh, parameters in order to gain uh, our uh, results. And this one is attached also to a, a reverse osmosis uh, desalination plant by the collective uh, permeates total permeate and. Uh, the collective, uh, the collection of uh, uh, brine rejection from post uh, MED or uh, or uh, RO. Um, we are going to use here in RO. We are going to use a pressure exchanger unit because this is most efficient. In your model, you can you can select. I, I'm going to 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 see to to show you how uh, you can select or deselect. And so we have here three configuration for vertical osmosis, and we have here uh, MED uh, with parallel feed configuration, which is most efficient. Then we have here um, the exit stream from uh, the high pressure compressor. Compressor is uh, uh, going to uh, deliver some heat for um, the final heat exchanger unit. And this heat is going to be uh, in, uh, increase its enthalpy and gain via uh, 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 concentrated solar tower uh, chimney or uh, receiver, central receiver. Okay, and then should be uh, compressed to high to uh, high pressure turbine. And the exhaust of high pressure turbine is going to gain another. Uh, 
uh, um, energy or enthalpy for uh, stream number eight is which is going to uh, drive on as uh, the low pressure turbine and we have to uh, uh, gain our uh, uh, result from this one exhaust stream um, it is around uh, 300 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Celsius. It's up to design, but for this one, we can power on uh, organic rocket cycle. So we have here, we can power on multi-stage flash. We can power on many uh, process heat uh, as an exhaust. So we can uh, utilize this for uh, to increase the overall efficiency of your cycle and the overall XFG efficiency. Okay, or if you double click here, okay, this is some information. Okay, anyway, uh, let's begin from inside. First of all, set your simulation time into zero and uh, let's go for a check all of these. Okay, that's fine. So, our model is prepared. Let's go inside and make some uh, survey. As you can see here, we have to assign uh, two main inputs for or, uh, three main inputs for for our cycle uh, the first one is um, uh, desalination what is your uh, let's go for reverse osmosis what is your desalination uh, uh, target uh, suppose i have uh, as you can see here you can select three configurations basic configuration built wheel drive or pressure exchanger uh, it's up to we have many videos about this you have to refer to uh, our previous videos about this one how can we uh, 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 configure this let's begin for a, a pressure exchanger most efficient and we have here you can assign some inputs let's emphasize control uh, plus we can emphasize a little bit okay we have here ambient temperature and uh, seawater temperature this is one is for uh, exergetic analysis and salinity what is your seawater salinity suppose i have um, uh, for um, uh, mediterranean region it's about 35 68 for red sea i i i, I do remember it's about uh, uh, 42 45 in uh, arabian gulf it's around 48 50 let it be 50. you can increase the range if you'd like just uh, you can increase the range uh, right click here and go to the mask edit mask and parameters okay and you can you will find your parameters here this is my yes this is seawater uh, salinity uh, range so you can um, you can uh, uh, increase your this is your maximum limit and minimum limit, so you can control this uh, by it's easy you can control this so suppose this is my range okay maybe your range should be from but i i, I let be let it be open but you can uh, suppose you have brackish water it's from 1000 up to 50. Mm, yeah, i think this is completely logic i'm sorry uh this is uh, 1000 it should be one okay and this is okay from one up to 50. okay hit apply okay and okay so if you double click here and you realize this, this is from one not from zero okay and we have we have to assign our productivity what is your system or plant productivity suppose i have i need to generate uh, for example um, let it be 5000 meter cube per day uh, this is my target and you can select your membrane type from here i will stick myself with with this one with safety heat recovery okay this module with larger um, membrane area uh, number of element pressure vessels what is your number of pressure vessels based on my experience um, and my previous work i think uh, 40 uh, 40 uh, 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 number of pressure vessels is quite uh, enough you have to adjust this uh, recording to your pressure drop because if you increase your uh, uh, number of pressure vessels this one this is going to um, drop your pressure 
and we have to maintain uh, our uh, uh, pressure between 40 bars up to uh, 70 bars no more than 80 bars okay and let's go for uh, efficiency bomb efficiency 85 fouling factor okay recovery ratio i think yes this is 30 mm, i think between 15 and 30 for seawater for built to wind section you can assign this i will keep this yes for pressure exchanger okay uh, for pressure exchanger we are going to split our uh, uh, feet okay for poster bump so I, I i'm going to this is your my split ratio this is quite normal and this is pressure uh, exchanger efficiency poster bump efficiency i will keep this uh, some cost parameters such as uh, plant load factor interest rate plant lifetime 20 years uh, uh, this one is quite interesting May, uh, cap direct capital cost for for membranes it's around between five five hundred and one thousand uh, and you can change this if you'd like you can change the range as I showed you before uh, membrane uh, uh, purchase costs uh, percentage uh, uh, membrane annual replacement percentage specific labor cost chemical cost and electrical cost uh, we are going to calculate this from uh, solar radiation we can control this or we can adjust it as a specific value based on your location in your country okay that's uh, enough for this for control this is control room is controlling uh, the flow between uh, reverse osmosis and uh, med so uh, we here in this section we are going to uh, assign the final product uh, part per million uh, I mean the, uh, the product salinity ratio maybe I, I would like to to select the product no more than 200 uh, parts per million okay this is quite interesting for uh, um, MED okay you have to uh, before going to your simulation you have to adjust your uh, design inputs for MED, we have the following uh, ambient temperature, seawater temperature, okay. Uh, top steam temperature, normally between uh, 60, 65, 70, no more than this for MED. Uh, uh, brain blue down temperature, normally between 35 and 40. Uh, seawater uh, uh, salinity uh, ratio and brine blue down uh, for seawater salinity ratio uh, let it be the same for as our of this is um, uh, uh, 50,000 bbm so let it be like this and um, for uh, brine blue down uh, I think 70 68 something like this for uh, the MED uh, for design what is your number of, of effect increasing number of effect will drop your total hourly cost will draw or increase your gear ratio and, and so on uh, let it be normally between six and eight uh, and eight effects ten effects something like this I will uh, I will adjust it as eight effect uh, vapor velocity, backing density, uh, some uh, design aspects you can you can change this if you'd like. I, I will give this uh, right now. And condenser effectiveness, okay. End the condenser because we have end the condenser for this unit. So this is effectiveness of your end the condenser. Uh, tube diameter, outer tube diameter, and chill diameter. A uh, bombing system, what is your uh, brine blue down if for bombing system for all we have three bombs brine, feed, and distillate. So, this is my efficiency 75 for all. Uh, for uh, capital cost, let, let it be around uh, you can adjust this by 5 million, as I think, for something nearly between. Uh, uh, 5,000 uh, meter cube per day and 10,000 meter cube per day interest rate load factor blend lifetime 20 years is enough a specific level cost and a specific uh, chemical cost 
based on your uh, location you can adjust this uh, steam generator mm, mm, okay for steam generator what is your specific heat capacity of the gases uh, heat transfer coefficient for bet gases between gases and uh, water steam it should be between 10 and 100 uh, watt per meter square degree Celsius efficiency is around uh, something or effectiveness between uh, 80 and 75 okay uh, for this part this is my desalination part okay this is my desalination part okay you can emphasize a little bit okay and if you you can survey this from here this is uh, for example MED this MED section so we can get your output results cost exergy thermal economic design uh, brain profile everything you can find from here and this is my control room flow control room so based on my specification I, I will calculate the total uh, amount of productivity should be assigned by or produced by MED and total plant productivity um, is accumulation plant for, as a whole plant RO plus uh, MED for ME for uh, reverse osmosis we have CD parts this is basic one a uh, filter wind drive and this is my uh, pressure exchanger and this is cost analysis you can uh, adopt from here okay so let, let that be later okay let's begin from uh, uh, gas turbine solar gas turbine uh, part okay uh, first of all we have low pressure compressor let's double clicking you are assigned ambient temperature inlet temperature uh, inlet pressure and pressure ratio you can increase your pressure ratio and uh, study the effect on your cycle what is the best operating conditions you can uh, adjust for air because this is air this is my uh, azeotropic index if you change your azeotropic index and specific heat you are going to change the working flow type so this is interesting so uh, you can change the um, gamma and the specific heat capacity so you can replace your working flow through the cycle uh, it's up to your design okay okay and um, um, uh, efficiency okay low efficiency of the compressor normally something like this okay uh, for intercooler and this is my early cooling air temperature okay uh, and uh, my specific heat capacity of the air uh, cooler uh, effectiveness or efficiency okay and let's go for uh, high pressure compressor what is your isentropic, isentropic index the same efficiency is the same and specific heat capacity okay for heat exchanger we need to adjust my uh, effectiveness the specific heat capacity also for solar part okay for solar part we have uh, ambient temperature solar radiation you can change your solar radiation so uh, if you do this, you can uh, have effect on your uh, field design because the changing solar radiation will affect on your uh, increasing solar radiation will reduce your total uh, cost. So uh, it's up to you. You can uh, uh, build your system based on winter operating conditions in order to make it sustainable for winter and um, all the season uh, times or you can make it for uh, suppose you have a limited budget so you can increase the solar radiation and that will, uh, will reduce the total capital cost but your system is not going to sustain during winter uh, operating conditions so you can replace it by using um, a fired gas boiler or combustion chamber or what is my operating hours a specific heat capacity uh, and fuel specific heat capacity okay mirror types what is my mirror types we have uh, some generation of mirrors 
suppose I, I, I would like to, ch to select the fourth generation, a little bit increasing in the total cost, but it's most efficient. And you can select here what is my operating conditions. Is it um, a combustion chamber one and two, or uh, only solar? It, it is up to your design. And in dynamic mode, you can switch this automatically while the system is running. So you can um, uh, select automatically. Uh, if there is no sun, you can switch automatically to uh, um, fired gas fire or natural gas operating operational uh, case uh, or um, uh, solar uh, operational case. For cost, we need to uh, uh, mirror cost around something between uh, 50 and 80 uh, US dollar per square meter of your mirror. Uh, I think uh, 100 is quite uh, interesting. Uh, fuel cost, uh, plant lifetime, 20, 20 years, interest rate, something like this. Okay. Uh, for high pressure turbine, we need to adjust as entropic index for gases. It is not air for gases, specific heat capacity of gases, uh, mechanical efficiency, and uh, turbine as entropic efficiency. And then we have here uh, low pressure turbine, the same, azotropic index, specific capacity, and uh, turbine azotropic efficiency. Okay. And then we have here uh, the most important part this one, a performance block. We need to, uh, uh, what is your dev uh, the volume power? What is your power you are going to? to uh, uh, generate uh, suppose i would like to generate uh, 50 megawatts uh, so you have to type 50000 kilo of watts operating hours for solar part it's um, around 9 hours interest rate plant lifetime and load factor okay i think load factor should be uh 75 i will keep it right now this is just an example you can study this um, later okay so i adjusted my power from here and this power is responsible for the calculation of uh, energy streams and power streams through the uh, solar gas turbine part and so the energy through the intercooler the energy through the um, energy streams through the heat exchanger uh, will be responsible for heat transfer through the steam generation or steam generator to the distillation part and thermal power to the evaporator of organic Rankine cycle. This is my organic Rankine cycle. We have to go inside here. This is number eight. Okay, this is number eight. So this is number eight here. Let's go inside. We we'll have another video about this one. Okay, for this one we need to uh, adjust some inputs. Also, it's, it's um, uh, quite interesting for this one. Uh, let's begin from. Uh, you can switch between uh, three working fluids. I do recommend the uh, the middle one. Uh, okay, you can switch. Okay, as you can see here. You can switch. Uh, this one is operating conditions for uh, superheat. It's around 200. I'm sorry, 275, which is R1233. So this one is most suitable suitable for uh, such type of uh, regeneration. I need to adjust some, some uh, parameters. Let's begin from the evaporator unit, double clicking. What is your uh, tubes, diameter, shell diameter, effectiveness, and uh, ambient temperature, uh, uh, superheat temperature, uh, heat, specific heat capacity of the gases. Okay, what is my. Uh, uh, for this one, I need to increase my. Uh, uh, vapor outlet temperature by 50 degrees Celsius over uh, the, uh, the, the operating conditions of the evaporator as a bench technology uh, temperature. For turbine unit, uh, what is my load power sh that should I consider here? Uh, you can um, 
uh, you can calculate this from the auxiliaries of the MED and uh, reverse osmosis so I can uh, uh, um, connect a streams of power uh, of reverse osmosis and MED and being uh, calculated by uh, the organic ranking cycle it's easy we can do this uh, compressor power but I think I think uh, uh, such power is not uh, uh, I think it is a little bit higher for or load will going to uh, make a, a pressure load on organic ranking cycle therefore I do recommend to utilize my power of organic ranking cycle to serve uh, the auxiliaries of MED and RO uh, no more than this uh, so I can switch uh, or can connect the power but in this example I would like to just to, to assign it my by myself suppose I need um, uh, one megawatt for this one one megawatt is quite enough okay uh, you can exceed the limit if you'd like as I showed before you can exceed the limit okay and what is my uh, turbine efficiency generator efficiency okay uh, for uh, we have here the capability unit because this is a uh, 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 positive slope on TS diagram so I need recuperator the effectiveness ambient temperature for exergetic analysis or reference temperature uh, temperature condenser unit this is a plate heat a plate uh, condenser plate type so you can adjust your fouling factor effectively we have also a, 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 a um, uh, a tutorial video about two types of plate heat exchangers you have to refer back to this it's about performance and design this one is uh, design operating conditions what is my condensation temperature this is quite interesting only cooling water temperature this is cooling water temperature here uh, ambient temperature uh, salinity of the cooling water okay this is my salinity of the cooling water. If you are going to cool cool this down by using uh, sea water, you can adjust your salinity profile from here. Okay. And a bombing system, we need just the efficiency. Okay. And this is my okay. For this is my performance and what is my operating hour, plant lifetime, load factor, and interest rate specific uh, power uh, consumption. Okay. Um, okay, enough for this. So now, now we are just organic record cycle part. We have uh, a, a full developed tutorial video about this one only. Okay, and we have uh, this one uh, a power solar power uh, solar gas turbine cycle, and we have here desalination part. Enough talking, let's saving and uh, hit run and see some uh, outputs. Let's hit run in zero time domain and see uh, what is going on. I think uh, there is, uh, let's see here. Okay, let's adjust my uh, salinity profile. Let it be on, okay, saving. Okay, okay. Uh, okay it's, it's fine now okay suppose i would like to uh, uh, my product should be 150 uh, parts per million okay let's say apply and okay i think this this range is quite good first of all you have to check you in, in reverse smooth you have to check your uh, pressure drop let's go inside and check my pressure drop so this is pressure exchanger this is my pressure exchanger so uh, for let's see my okay we have here uh, high pressure bump the flow is split uh, stream is going to um, to be uh, fully developed through the pressure exchanger unit and to be posted by the booster bump and re re uh, uh, mix it again with the feed uh, before going to the membrane for we have a fully developed video about this this operation is going to uh, drop or you're going to make a massive drop in power load on high pressure pump because I split the feed and uh, using by using 
the high pressure from the brine rejected to to uh, be utilized uh, uh, to subtract some power from uh, the high pressure pump in order to reduce the load or specific power consumption on the high pressure pump. Let's go inside. Uh, I would like to inspect this one. Well, yes, the, okay. The air because we have here massive pressure, so I need to increase a little bit my uh, uh, number of pressure vessels. Let's go here. Number of pressure vessels. Okay, let it be here. I think 50 or 60 uh, uh, number of pressure vessels. Let's inspect. Going here and adjust my system. Okay, it should be dropped to a, a normal number. Yes, it is still high, still high. Let it be another. Uh, give it another because the high salinity profile uh, let it be uh, um, 80 80 uh, uh, number of pressure vessels I would like to drop the pressure to its normal value 68 70 okay 76 let it be more let's drop it more okay and number of pressure vessels 100 for 5000 uh, meter cube per day large amount of, uh, of fresh water okay i think this one uh, is okay we can drop it more little bit. i would like to increase this up to eight pressure vessels uh, 110 okay let it be uh, dropping more pressure <clears throat> I think 70 is quite f good okay 65 is fine okay 65 is fine so this is my uh, um, it's up to your design it's a design model this will affect on some parameters let's go inside and see uh, for very smoothies this is your specific bulk consumption uh, pressure drop feed flow rate calculated brine flow rate rejected uh, this is feed flow rate per kilogram per second uh, product this is your product salinity is around uh, 500 uh, part per million average salinity specific entropy production uh, exergy exergy destruction rate feed exergy brine exergy uh, salt rejection percentage okay and you can this is pressure exchanger outputs a blow down temperature outlet feed uh, pressures outlet feed salinity outlet feed outlet pressure brine uh, blow down pressure Exho this is final exhaust brine uh, blow down pressure outlet uh, brine salinity outlet brine flow rate uh, power uh, this is power of uh, the pressure exchanger and this is power consumption this is the net power consumption. It's around 400 kilowatt of power. 400 kilowatt of power in order to generate uh, 50,000 of meter cube per day. For flow control, uh, we have to, as you can see here, this is my total uh, plant productivity. About uh, 17 uh, uh, meter cube per day. This is the, sh the shear part of ME for the MED. Uh, it's around uh, 12 uh, meter cube per day load uh, productivity on uh, the uh, MED. Uh, you can change the salinity profile because we change the, the number of effect. Let it be suppose it's 200 parts per million. Let, it, let us see from the flow control what is the prime uh, effect uh, productivity salinity effect okay so uh, if you intended to increase the salinity of your product uh, that would uh, reduce uh, uh, the amount of uh, product on uh, uh, the MED okay uh, quite interesting to study let's go inside the MED okay for MED you will find the following let's begin from this one also you can uh, double click on each block and you can adapt your code this is your code uh, 
for MED you have here uh, steam mass flow rate uh, this is feed flow rate per each effect uh, uh, distributor effect by effect if you go outside here you can as you can see here for this is brain profile brain profile you can uh, plot this one okay this is brain profile for eight effect as you realize this is these are your eight effect and uh, let it be for uh, distal profile yes this is distal profile uh, uh, okay and uh, we have here uh, okay to area profile this is area profile for um, each effect uh, okay for MED we have here uh, uh, flow rate for each effect it, it is equally divided by each um, uh, each effect this, these are eight effects product profile salinity profile this is your salinity profile for each effect this is your final uh, brine reject value this one which is assigned by you uh, pressure drop in salby uh, temperature profile this is your temperature profile i think this one is here I say yes this is temperature profile and you can and let okay temperature profile brine temperature profile and distillate temperature profile okay and vapor okay and we have here um, gear ratio less than uh, because we have eight effects so we have a gear ratio uh, less than eight at the uh, area profile by each effect lens tube lens for each effect number of uh, uh, heat transfer area um, this is for brine blue down bump okay this brine blue down bump I, I think this is yes this is brine uh, blue down bump distal bump and feed bump okay uh, I think this is uh, I, okay. This is pressure drop. This is pressure drop, and this is your power for each bump. We have three bumps here, so we can uh, um, send a signal from here to toward the organic reaction cycle in order to save this power uh, consumption. You can calculate the cost. What is your hourly cost for MED? Unit product cost US dollar per uh, meter cube for only MED uh, feed cost uh, uh, amortization factor and some operating condition in the condenser this is your total feed uh, cooling water feed uh, this is your total feed okay this is feed per uh, which is should be divided by each effect. Uh, feed temperature, preheated feed temperature out from the condenser be going, before going to the H effect, distillate temperature, uh, area of the condenser, tube lens, number of tubes. Uh, exergy, some exergetic analysis such as exergy of the steam in and outlet, exergy of the feed, brine, distillate, and serum economic if you would like. Uh, let's begin, let's go for, for, um, for, uh, okay, for reverse osmosis this is my cost membrane uh, costs uh, annual replacement cost annual fixed charge uh, annual labor cost annual uh, total cost for reverse osmosis unit product this is your only product cost for reverse osmosis only and this is your hourly cost for reverse osmosis okay if you change your type if you change your reverse you will change the cost if you this is pressure exchanger you realize the difference uh, okay uh, we can do this later let's go for um, let's go inside here okay collapse this one okay let's go for uh, a compressor low pressure compressor outlet temperature outlet pressure outlet in salby energy for the same for intercooler uh, outlet air temperature is 150 degrees Celsius. This one is going to be going towards the steam generator. We need 150 degrees Celsius for the steam generator. Let's go. I think the steam generator is number nine. Uh, number nine. Okay. This is my number nine. Okay. So outlet. This is the steam coming from the MED. 
okay this one this one from intercooler to the steam generator so and this is outlet exhaust from uh, the steam generator after uh, 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 thermal power consumption mass flow rate okay a steam generator thermal power uh, and the area okay let's begin back to the intercooler okay uh, outlet temperature for the uh, high pressure compressor uh, pressure uh, this is my uh, intercooler pressure uh, and salby and uh, thermal uh, energy a kilojoule per kilogram so uh, my stream is going to to from the low pressure compressor from uh, i think this is from the intercooler okay toward the high pressure compressor let's go for high pressure compressor you will find the following outlet temperature pressure ratio uh, 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 in Salby and power, power of your compressor, the working power. We have here heat exchanger, this one, this one, okay. Number four, number four here, okay. What is my exhaust outlet? Exhaust temperature is 275 degrees Celsius, which is suitable for um, the organic record cycle. This one is suitable for organic record cycle. And we have here uh, outlet temperature toward the um, uh, solar, uh, to the high pressure temperature. Uh, I'm sorry, high pressure. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, to, toward the uh, solar tower and or combustion chamber before the high pressure uh, turbine. Uh, this one, seven seven hundred uh, degree Kelvin and salby and uh, this is my thermal power let's go for the solar field solar fields okay for solar field we have outlet uh, temperature it's uh, increased up to uh, 900 degrees Celsius of Kelvin okay pressure and you can calculate the following what is your absorber area uh, Okay, total field area, uh, mirror the area, uh, tower height, uh, field diameter, distance behind the field, okay, and distance front of the uh, of the field, uh, cavity, uh, cavity diameter, tower base diameter, efficiency, excess analysis, and so on. For high pressure turbine. Okay, this one is responsible for the compressor power. For therefore, we drop the pressure again, and we drop the insulin a little back uh, to the seven from 900 to 700, and the pressure outlet pressure is dropped to between uh, something between. It depends on your pressure ratio, of course, and this is your pressure ratio. It is dropped from nine down to four uh, pressure uh, for uh, value and for low pressure turbine okay this is our exhaust pressure outlet temperature uh, and salpy and uh, 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 power in kilojoule per uh, kilogram for organic rank and cycle we have four this is my evaporator results outlet exhaust uh, from uh, the evaporator and salpy of the evaporator uh, an entropy pressure uh, mass flow rate through the cycle or mass of the uh, of uh, working uh, gases and uh, area of the evaporator number of uh, uh, tubes and exergy destruction rates uh, liquid and salby and so on turbine power in, in turbine so this is my uh, working uh, fluid of uh, the organic cycle mass flow rate outlet in salby outlet temperature outlet entropy and excess destruction recuperator we have the following outlet temperature go before going uh, to the uh, this this one is going to the, uh, uh, the to, from the stream from the pump through the evaporator back again to the uh, evaporator unit through the recuperator and this one is going toward the condenser, in temperature and in salby. Okay, for the condenser we have the following. I need uh, this is my this is my inputs and this is my outputs. 
uh, let's go for here condenser energy mass flow rate of the cooling water outlet cooling water temperature okay and uh, it shall be pressure okay uh, and this is overheat transfer coefficient uh, condenser uh, area plate height because this is plate heat exchanger length uh, and irreversibility rate and this is my early cooling water temperature and hot water temperature coming from a recuperator unit uh, this is pumping power almost one megawatt uh, uh, cost analysis what is your uh, levelized power cost of organic ranking cycle uh, total hourly costs evaporator cost ter uh, turbine recuperator condenser and so on this is my steam jet. okay let's go for performance suppose i have this is my uh with my performance yes performance and cost okay this is my total heat addition efficiency is around 77 percent uh, quite low we can in, we can increase this if you would like by adjusting your pressure ratio and uh, heat capacities uh, gross work output what is this is your work ratio cycle mass flow rate of the air uh, levelized power cost uh, hourly cost of gas turbine this is your total hourly cost of the whole plant considering gravity smoothies med uh, organic ranking cycle uh, individual units or and this is my specific um, bar cost 0.088 uh, i think the range is between 0.088 and 0.06 it's quite normal and quite uh, uh, logic uh, total water price so this is my total water price i have to uh, uh, sell my water uh, within this range under such design uh, aspects if you would like uh, so you can switch and let's go for um, uh, making some uh, dynamic mode if you would like so you can uh, extract your result from here or from your desktop from here uh, suppose this is t feed of condenser you can drag and drop click enter you'll find your values uh, unit product cost of your med okay as you can see here uh, bombing power okay and so on uh, suppose i would like to uh, you can use uh, many methods in order to extract your result suppose i have a dynamic mode for this let's go for dynamic mode double click here okay and okay let's close other one close this one and uh, let's hit clear and remove everything okay okay so in this in dynamic mode you can uh, switch between uh, uh, gas fire boiler or uh, solar part you can you can select this in dynamic mode automatically if you would like uh, let's begin for uh, reverse smoothies suppose i have uh, I need five thousand, and I need number of pressure vessels. It's around one hundred and twenty. This is eight. Okay, salinity profile is fifty. Okay, okay. I will keep the other. Uh, okay, and let's go for um, control volume. Yes, suppose I, I need one hundred and fifty. Okay, I will show you the effect of a changing parameter with respect um, to the time limit or in dynamic mode. And uh, suppose I would like to control uh, the following. Let's control the following. Uh, pressure ratio, I will change it. And uh, productivity, total current productivity, I will change it. Let's control minus, I would like to um, shrink it a little bit and um, total power i need to uh, change the total power of my blend okay suppose i have these three uh, okay and I, I will put it here okay and this one is here okay 
Okay. So I will hit run and um, within infinity, set your submission time into infinity. I will hit run and see manually if I would like to. I can control this automatically, but I would like to control this manually right now and see uh, the effect on my result. But first of all, you have to send your result to data inspector. Be sure that this is small square is shown by highlight your signal that you are going to inspect and click here or send it to uh, data inspector like this one. This one is not sent. So I have to highlight this and click here, send it to uh, data inspector. So uh, you will visualize your results. Okay. Uh, let's hit run and see quickly uh, what is going on. Okay. Okay. Suppose I will increase the pressure ratio a little bit up to uh, center certain value. Suppose it's, let's increase my productivity up to uh, okay seven okay and increasing uh, the number of pressure vessels also let's decrease the power from uh, 51 megawatts down to 20 megawatts i'm decreasing the power and see my effect on the cost and uh, specific analysis okay under pressure exchanger okay now stop uh, my my model okay Let's go here for data inspector. I'm clicking here and okay. And this these are my previous run, so you can compare if you'd like. The only product cost for this is Moses uh, hourly for this is Moses varying. Okay, and MED hourly costs. Okay. Uh, unit product cost for MED. Let's go for unit product cost for RO. You, you realize the difference. And uh, let's go for uh, power of the steam, gener uh, steam generator. Uh, MED productivity varying. Many, many parameters you can compare. A lot of uh, analysis. What is, where is my total hourly costs let's see my total hourly costs i think it's yes this, this is total hourly cost you can change the uh, format it's uh, up to uh, 600 okay okay this is my varying because i change uh, the productivity and um, the pressure ratio as you realize this specific bulk consumption uh, total water price let let it be as a, a range up to uh, 0 0.3 this is maximum range okay as you can see here this is my total hourly cost is varying according to my uh, variation okay so uh, you can add more slots if you'd like from here you can add more slots. You can send this data to a figure and uh, control it fully controlled by. Air. Of course, we have here temperature and salby pr uh, pressure, everything. This is mirror area and tower area, field diameter. You can find everything. Uh, solar tower, okay. And our absorber area. There is no absorber because we uh, zero because we uh, we. Uh, we operated um, a fired boiler, uh, power of high pressure turbine, fire uh, power of low pressure turbine. You realize the difference, okay? Uh, and organic rankin cycle hourly cost of organic rankin cycle, uh, specific power uh, labor uh, uh, levelized power costs, and uh, where's my um, okay? Uh, total water press okay uh, pressure this is your pressure because we increase the pressure tissue as you can see uh, the effect on uh, the compressor uh, finally I would like to thank you very much for interesting in our model don't forget to like uh, share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much